document clustering in this lecture i will consider some document clustering essentials text clustering architecture pre processing steps different types of documents representation models for clustering and uh, different documents model document representation ontologies and uh, semantic enhancements of presentation models and ontology based as support uh, vector space model so document clustering essentials some essential techniques for text mining first is text pre processing in text pre processing we generally include remove some yc symbols and cleanse the data and finally save data in some cases we filter the sentences etc sentence filtration means we separate the sentences we separately identify the sentences in the document second is the text data representation text data representation techniques and pre processing methods that are used to convert the original text in various formats into representation model additional linguistic resources the use of ontology to enhance the semantic representation of original model fourth is the crowd intelligence crowd intelligence use of corpus based semantic tool important soft tools efid and other measures clustering algorithms classical clustering algorithms have been used in text data in particular uh, we cover in this like we cover cover the uh, techniques and hierarchical clustering etc and another thing is cluster representation how to represent the clusters for this some visualization techniques are used this is a simple text clustering architecture text documents first apply some pre processing task in this pre processing task we just clean the documents separate the word apply some stemming techniques remove some yc symbols etc and uh, we identify the bag of visual words based uh, we convert the entire document as a bag of visual word based scheme but in some different cases uh, page based techniques is also applied so now the next is the representation of data how to represent the data after we pre process the data in the form of bag of visual words or in the form of uh, phrases identified phrases or in the form of diagrams diagrams etc so the next step is the data modeling so we can use some model like vector space model to represent that data and after that we apply the clustering algorithm after that we apply the clustering for that we apply the clustering algorithms and uh, we can also apply some measures like tf idf or ontology based measure with clustering to improve the result and then it will give the set of clusters so first task is pre processing in pre processing the major task is removing stop words stop words means uh, such kind of words like of a and by b etc in this tree there exists a list of stop words we can use those stop words list of stop words to remove such kind of stop words the function of words and connectives it appears in large number of appears in large number of documents and have a little use in describing the characteristics of the documents so this is example and this is an example after the removal of the stop words now the next step of pre processing is the stemming it removes the inflection that uh, convey the parts of the speech and tenses there are two algorithms like uh, morphological analysis example porter's algorithm and uh, dictionary look up like wordnet for example a simple is uh, porter stemmer based stemming like prediction or uh, converted to root word predict discretize re converted to root word discretize like that 
the same sentence after using stemming techniques and converting the words of these sentences to root word it will look like that now the different document models there will be text data formats like plain text document pdf postscript file html xml email etc so how to represent the document to represent the document first apply a conversion techniques to text and then represent the doc into a matrix form where every row represents the document and every columns represents the term for example x11 represents the first term of first document and x1i represents the ith term of document 1 and so on there are several document representation model of which three are more important first is probabilistic model vector space model and third is ontology based vector space model so first we will go through the probabilistic and vector space model probabilistic model documents are represented by means of probability distribution of terms like p t1 to tm this model specifies the probability dj presence of document uh, present of term lc in a particular uh, document d in a particular category c p probability of dj which exists in category lc then that uh, the document dj belongs to category c advantage the documents are ranked according to their probability of being relevant to a category but to the major problem with uh, this scheme is it needs to guess uh, the initial separation of documents into a relevant or uh, non relevant sets and then terms are considered to be independent but uh, we cannot consider every term as independent because uh, we already discussed that every term in a document may have some relation with direct term even if it is not adjacent or directly related then there may be some influence of other terms in the documents which are not directly related to that term so these are the demerits of uh, traditional probabilistic model now the another model is vector space model this is the most popular representation model used in information retrieval and text mining vector space model a text document is represented as a vector of terms t1 to 2n t1 to tn each term ti represents a word or a phrase the set of all unique terms in a set of text documents forms the vocabulary for the set of documents a set of documents are represented as a set of vectors that can be written as a matrix for example t11 represents the ter first term of document d1 T1M represents the nth term of the document D1, like that. Now that we can represent it, it in the form of frequency also, like F11, the occurrence frequency of term 1 in document D1, like that. The matrix on the left side, each row represents the document, and each column represents the term. Matrix on the right side, each element Fij represents the frequency of ith term in the left document. As I described here. Now we will define some characteristics of this representation. How many different ways we can use to represent this part, since this part of matrix. First is using frequency that I already discussed. That uh, F21 means frequency of term. One, sorry, F one, F two two, something mistaken. F two two means frequency of term two in document two. F two A means frequency of F term in second document B two, like that. So first is by using frequency. Second is by using binary representation. In this representation, F I J is equal to one. This means the term T I J. That is jth term on ith document which exists in document i 
For that we will take f i j is equal to one. Otherwise we will take f i j is equal to zero. Third is T f i j based representation. Here instead of using frequency, we will calculate the T f i j of uh, first term of second document. Similarly, second term of second documents. Instead of using frequency, we will replace this frequency portion by using TF IDF score calculated by using this formula. Here, TF, uh, TF IDF of uh, term TI in document DJ. TF means term frequency of term TI in document DJ log. Mod D means total number of documents in the collection. DF TI means number of documents which contains term TI. Advantage It is simple and easy to calculate similarity between two documents. Data mining algorithms can be applied directly. After this representation, matrix representation, we can directly apply the clustering algorithms or any other algorithms. Disadvantage terms are considered as uh, independent from each other, lack of semantics and high dimensionality and sparsity. Here we show that we have shown that the matrix uh, M into M into N type of matrix, but it is not necessary. Some documents may contain five terms, some documents may contain 50 terms. So the size of uh, number of columns, sorry, number of columns in the matrix may differ. And there will be huge gap in dimensionality. For example, a document D1 contains only five terms. A document D2 contains only 50 terms. Then there will be a huge gap between dimensionality of both documents. Means like 45. So this is the high dimensionality and sparsity. So due to this uh, gap, dimensionality gap, there may be a lot of field which, which may contain 0, 0 entry. So it will it may result in a sparse type of matrix. Now using of use of ontology and semantic enhancement. Ontology and semantic enhancement of presentation models. So instead of just depending upon TF IDF, now we will use some semantics or ontological information. It represents unstructured data, text documents according to the ontology repository. According to this, each term in a vector is a concept rather than only a word or page. It determines the similarity of documents. Methods to represent the ontology. How to represent ontology? We use the ontology to represent the documents. First is a terminological ontology like synonyms. Several words for the same concept like employee, staff, researcher, car and automobile, homonyms, one word with several meanings like bank, maybe river bank or financial bank and cooling fan or system versus sports fan like cooling system versus sports fan like that. So we can use those information to represent this matrix. So how to use this information to represent this matrix? Now the simple equation is each document, each element of the document vector considering ontology is represented by xji1 is equal to xji1 where xji1 is the original frequency of term ti1 in the jth document. ij means i1's term in jth document, frequency of i1's term in jth document plus semantic similarity between term ti1 and ti2 what here we will do 
here in the plus frequency we will add semantic similarity of this word with respect to this this and every other words in that document and we consider that total m doc m words exist in the document d the major advantage of this technique is the major advantage of this techniques are technique are, considers the relationship between terms it introduces the semantic concepts into data models it combines the ontology with the traditional vector space model the terms dimensions have a semantic relationship rather than independent this is very important earlier we consider that this term is independent this term is independent and this term is independent but after the ontology based uh, scheme to calculate uh, with uh, doc, after the applying of ontology based representation with the vector space model now we have uh, perfect relation with uh, every terms to every other terms in the matrix Thanks.